Welcome everybody. In this video, we will demonstrate how to carry out a diabetic foot screen along with a diabetic foot check. We will also show you how to allocate a risk to the foot that you are checking, along with how to refer an acute diabetic foot into the foot service. Good morning, Alyssa. My morning. name's Sue Paris. I'm one of the staff here at the podiatry department. We're going to be doing your foot check and your annual foot screen today. I'm going to check your circulation. I'm going to check your sensation in your feet and run through some basic checks for you to do every day. So if that's OK with you, then I'll continue. Do I have your permission to Please continue? Please go ahead. Thank you. So Alyssa, as a patient with diabetes, it's important that you check your feet every day for any signs of injury or damage that you might not have been able to feel. There are some key areas of your foot that I want you to pay particular attention to. So first of all, have a look between your toes to make sure that there is no damage to the skin in between your toes that you haven't seen. There are also pressure areas that can be in contact from your shoe around the big toe joint and the outside of the foot, down the sides of the foot, around the heel, the heel counter of the shoe can rub here and also the underside of the foot needs to be checked. If you could also just make sure that you have a look at your footwear from time to time, make sure your shoe is in good condition. Shoes need to be wide enough to fit the foot and we need to check inside the shoe to make sure there's no damage to the inside of the shoe, no wear marks that could damage the skin. Check around the heel counter of the shoe again to make sure there's no areas that are rubbing. Um, and also to check the sole of the shoe to make sure there's no damage, no cracks and nothing in the shoe that can damage the foot during walking around. Okay, Lisa, so we're going to do your annual foot screen today and we're going to be looking at the sensation in your feet and later on the circulation and blood flow to your foot. So I'm going to be using a 10 gram monofilament, which is this device, to find out whether or not you've lost any sensation in your skin. It looks a little bit like a needle, but in fact it's a soft plastic fibre, which won't cause any pain, but you will be able to feel a light touch sensation from it. So if I can just take your hand for yeah, a moment, sure. and I'll just demonstrate to you what that feels like. Yeah. Now you may or may not get the same level of sensation in your foot, that's actually what we're testing to find out. So in order to do this test, I'm going to ask you to close your eyes in a moment um, and tell me whether or not you feel any sensation. Are you happy for me to carry on? Yeah, that's fine yeah. by me. OK, so if you can close your eyes for me, what I'd like you to do is just concentrate on your feet and if you feel any sensation at all on your skin, um, just say yes each time you feel something. OK. OK? Yeah. If you close your eyes, away we go. Yes. 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 Okay, so that's the test for that foot. I'm going to Test the other foot close for you now as well. Yeah, if you could okay. close your eyes for me again, that would be good. Will do. Okay, Lisa, thank you. That's great. That's that test completed. Right, so now Alyssa, we're going to have a, do an examination of the blood flow to your feet. Um, we call this a vascular assessment. I'm going to be feeling the pulses, if that's okay, and then using 
a little machine that we can listen to the pulse sounds and see how healthy the, the blood vessels are. What we're looking for is a nice healthy blood flow so that if you did have any problems with wounds or uh, injuries, they would have a good chance of healing quickly. So you've got two pulses in your foot, one on the top of the foot, which we call the dorsalis pedis, and one around the ankle, which we call the posterior tibial pulse. That's lovely. And the other foot. I'm just going to change hands to make it easier to reach. So they feel quite healthy to me. And I can see from the nice healthy pink colour of your skin that generally the tissues look quite well perfused. Oh, so we'll move on to the Doppler. Just going to apply a little bit of gel to the yeah. skin of your foot. Just need to make sure the probe's in contact with the gel. So you'll hear a sound in a moment, which will be the sound of the pulse in your foot. Lovely, that's a nice healthy sound that we can hear there. The two beats, that's a biphasic sound, and that indicates a nice healthy circulation. And we'll have a look at the other pulse around the ankle. So again, we've got a nice strong sound, nice healthy pulse. That one sounds just a little bit different because the blood vessels are in a slightly different arrangement. So don't worry about the fact that they sound a little bit different. They're nice and healthy. And we'll move on to the other foot. It's nice to know. That's a nice healthy sound. So things are not always where we think they're going to be. Sometimes you have to hunt for them a little bit. And we'll have a listen to the other pulse. Okie dokes. Bullseye, easy to find. And again, a nice healthy sound. So that's your vascular test finished. Thank you very much. This is a monophasic pulse sound. This is a biphasic pulse sound. This is a triphasic pulse sound. Okay, so that's your foot screen completed today, Lisa. We've looked at your uh, blood flow into your foot and found that that's really quite healthy. And we've also checked the sensation of your feet and found that at this time, there's no deterioration at all. You were able to feel the monofilament in all the areas of your, the foot that we test for. Your circulation, your pulses were fine. They were healthy on both feet. So we have no issues there with the blood flow to your foot. So that means that your foot's at low risk as far as it goes. Once you have your screening results, you'll be able to allocate a risk to the diabetic foot. Low risk. If there is no history of diabetic foot ulceration or amputations, if there is no sign of neuropathy, if the pedal pulses to both feet are palpable or biphasic or triphasic using Doppler ultrasound, then the patient's feet are classified at low risk. Moderate risk. If there is no history of diabetic foot ulceration or amputations, if the patient has failed the monofilament neuropathy test, or if the patient has failed 
the vascular test, then the patient's feet are at moderate risk. High risk. If there is a history of diabetic foot ulceration or amputation, or if they are on renal replacement dialysis therapy, or they have failed the monofilament neuropathy or vascular tests, and have either callus or foot deformity, then the patient's feet are classified at high risk. Acute risk. The diabetic foot is at acute risk and requires immediate referral into the foot service if any of the following are present. Ulceration or pre-ulcerative area, puncture wound, critical limb ischemia, inflammation or infection, gangrene or suspicion of or active Charcot neuroarthropathy. Now low risk doesn't mean no risk and so from that point of view it is important that you continue to check your feet every day. So just to remind you of the points that we went through earlier, so between the toes, the pressure areas around the forefoot, around the heel, around the area that can be rubbed here and underneath the foot as well. Please make sure to remember that you do wear footwear when you're walking around, even in the house. Always have a layer of protection between your foot and the ground so that you minimise the risk of injury to your foot. It's really important to make sure that you reduce the risk of injury significantly by keeping your shoe, slipper, sandals, whatever they are, in place and that your foot is fully protected. So you are at low risk. I've got one of these leaflets for you here oh, that you uh, indicates your risk thank status. You. That's got some um, information in there about maintaining your foot health and condition, use of creams, keeping your nails tidy, that sort of thing. Right. Uh, on the back of the leaflet, you'll see there's some SOS advice. Oh, yes. So if you do happen to have any problems with your feet, if you have any concerns, if you develop any signs of redness or swelling in the foot that looks severe to you, or if you were to get an injury to your foot, make sure you contact this service and make sure you also see someone at your GP practice, right. either the doctor or the practice nurse who's responsible for your diabetic care. Um, and that uh, just about wraps it up for today. Well, thank you very much. Thank you very much indeed. You're welcome. Thank <music> you.